famous movie house is on the market. The New Jersey home used in the 1979 movie, The Amityville Horror. It is up for sale. The 10-room colonial-style structure in Tom River was built in the 1920s. It's listed for $1.35 No, we can't afford that. Look at the house that we're living in right now. Money does not grow on trees. Owners claimed was possessed by evil spirits. Miss! All right, we're about to go check out a store that has a dollar deal on everything. found a couple of things so far. There's a jump rope, I might get that. <laughs> sure, I'll get this, I don't have a kettlebell. Found this acai powder. Virginity rocks. <laughs> I like how I found more things out here that I ever had at Anime Week in Atlanta. Isn't this an SCP character? <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't get to finish, but we did get a lot of things and it was all $34. Here's everything I got out there. It was a dollar each. This is why we didn't finish shopping. We have to install a wooden floor now. Here's what we got so far. Most of the living room's done now. And I put all of this over here. Took a while. Meat, meat, meat. You're lucky you don't have hands. <laughs> Woo, so happy, no longer overweight. I was not overweight to begin with, I was just joking around there. The scale is inaccurate when it comes to muscle. Alright, first floor is pretty much done here, except for partially the closet, so I guess I'll show that right now. Oh yeah, that side isn't finished either. But hey, it's about 97% done. Alright, Thanksgiving. I'm always dreading this time of the year, not because of the food, but because what happened five years ago. So before we go there, I'm going to go ahead and weigh in. 158.2 just have to see. I realize that my life is a piece of trash. It's been such a long year. Time to relax and meet up with the family. Shut the f*** up. Miss. Alright, time to chow infinity. <laughs> Here's this in case you wanted an update on it. So yeah, they had the little gutter thing on it now. The food has been unlocked. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. I don't know if I'll be back or not. I can't really eat without a drink. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be going out to the discount store again, but today is going to be $5. We just wanted to see if they have anything that's actually really good. And there goes my mom. <laughs> I found some Cory Kenshin merch out here. That's hilarious. Found a Kyogre backpack. Legendary Pokemon in a discount store. All right, now we're at Kroger. Hopefully all those items at that store are still there on Tuesday or Monday. Been a while since I had Sevia. All right, back with some more $1 items. So I did not find anything from Saturday. I didn't notice this until now, but this protein powder is made out of crickets. Huh, that should be interesting. I had my first treadmill accident. I still need to put a bandage on this, but I wanted to show what it looks like. 
So, going eight miles per hour is no joke on the treadmill. You gotta focus on being on the walking belt at all costs. What happened was I was wiping sweat off my face, and I was running. I stepped on this side, so that kind of slowed me down, and this foot was still moving super fast, so I collapsed. And I tried to get back up, but um, foolishly enough, doing that resulted in me getting that wound. Hi there. So in this episode, I'm going to be eating nothing but foods from dollar stores. So there's Dollar Days, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, <laughs> Family Dollar. So I wanted to see if I can get some sufficient protein out there and see if it's worth going there instead of going to those big supermarkets like Walmart. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm a little bit nervous because that, that steak doesn't look good. I'm already doubting that they have a produce section, so that's already one bad sign about doing this project. Hopefully I won't get sick by the end of the week. 162.4 Chicken I'm currently waiting for my parents to come back from their walk. We're gonna be going to Dollar Days, and then we should be going to Family Dollar, which is literally right around the corner. I'm gonna save all of my calories until then, but right now I'm feeling hungry, so hopefully we'll go there soon. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I already have these as an option thanks to Dollar Days. I got some green tea powder, miracle rice, acai powder, protein smoothie powder, which is made out of crickets, and some smart sweets. I was really surprised that there was a whole bag of just this. I feel like Dollar Days is gonna keep me safe in comparison to all the other stores that sell a bunch of low quality food. Oh, there they are. We're done with Dollar Days, and Family Dollar is right down there. No freaking way. I found it. Yeah, maybe I'll get some Annie's Mac and Cheese. Not really sure what good selections they have out here. Nice. Yeah, I agree. The aisles are narrow. I don't know. I guess I could get one of these. It's not a wide selection, but I guess it's high in calories enough for me to get my calories for the day. All right, I just dropped my mom off, and now we're going to be heading back home. Even though we didn't find a lot of food, we found some pretty rare stuff in this town. Vital wheat gluten, which they would add to pizza or bread, and that adds a lot of protein to it per serving, 23 grams of protein. Found some brisk zero sugar. I was super surprised to see that at Family Dollar. Don't know why it doesn't say that in the store locator, but we bought the entire stock. So this is about 10 bottles. And uh, whatever this powder is. And... Eh. It's just a way to like get in your fiber and got some of this Korean rice cakes Got some pork soup cubes matcha pink Himalayan salt cocoa powder and all this other stuff that isn't food All right, I'm starving. So my first meal is gonna be some pork soup I'm gonna be also adding some eggs. They had eggs at family dollar But we didn't buy any because we already had some and we also have some rice cakes here so, I'm not really sure what that tastes like. Got this little packet that goes along with it, so I guess it's like a spice pack. This is pretty good on its own, even without all the stuff that they show in the cover. And this, on the other hand, I don't know what the hype is all about with all the mukbangers about this stuff, but um, I'm curious as to what it tastes like. Actually, I think it's done. I was supposed to cook for 150 seconds, but it's been like five minutes. I mean, it's not bad. It has like a sweet and spicy flavor to it. I'd probably get it again if it's at Dollar Days, but if it's at any other store, nah nah. Pretty decent meal with the majority of it coming from Dollar Days. With the soup, it's gonna help stop ghrelin from punching me in the face because soup is so voluminous. <laughs> All right, I'm off to Dollar General to decide my next meal. I've never been to the new one, so this should be an interesting experience. Me! Whoa! Me! 
I had no idea it could go lower than 80-20. At least they have some turkey options here. One dollar pizza? I guess so. Guess this is all we're getting. about to hit the treadmill. This is a pretty miserable diet. There's not a lot of food selections out at these dollar stores and the foods are so high in calories that it's almost down to one meal a day. So I think I'm just going to be breaking it down to 48 hours. Hopefully I can survive this. There's no way I can do five days. The VCR is here. Just got to find the cord and then I can test this out. And I'm having my next meal right now. All of this is a thousand calories. Remember my stuffed crust pizza? That's way lower than this. Do you know how ridiculous it is to go to a freaking Dollar General to get stuff like this? Like, don't shop there. Twenty-four hours left. I made spaghetti from what I bought at Dollar General. This whole thing comes out to 1,494 calories. That's pretty insane compared to the Tangela spaghetti, which is 1,151 calories. Or even worse, my recently new meatless spaghetti that's 756 calories. So yeah, I would not recommend making spaghetti based off of what you get from Dollar General. I'm also going to have Smart Sweets as a snack. So this is my favorite right here. I don't really care too much about all the other ones. I was going to go to Dollar Tree, but there's road work right in front of the house. Either way, I already had a big meal for the day, and there's nothing good to offer out there as far as a high protein meal goes. 161.2 I lost one pound, I lost one pound Alright, time to compare. This is the same amount of calories as this meal that I had at that night. Would you rather have this or that? I hit my protein goal with this, by the way. I barely hit my protein goal with the other meal. And now here's the weight a few days later going on my normal diet. That's going to be the final weigh-in for this episode. It is cheat day Sunday today. Christmas is on Saturday, so I'm going to be on my deal a week early because birthday is right after Christmas. So after that dollar store diet experiment, this is all we're leaving to have as a cheat day. I got some one serving of goulash left. Got some fishball noodle soups cooking up. And I'm also going to be having a steak tonight. So this is 11 ounces, meaning that it's going to be about 700 calories. Believe it or not, I had steak twice this week, an entire steak twice. And uh, I still lost the weight pretty easily. Like, steak isn't actually that harmful when it comes to weight loss. And it's easy to get your protein in, too. So would I recommend only eating at dollar stores? Hell no. I do recommend that you go to some of the bigger supermarkets to get your lean meats. And also get your fruits and veggies, because there are no produce section in any of these places. And uh, as far as the meat goes, everything you get at the dollar store, even the ground turkey, is really high in fat. Highly do not recommend going there for that stuff. I would only recommend going to dollar stores if you need to get something quick like diet soda or some low calorie energy drinks. Aside from that, I think there's really no point to going to a dollar store. I mean, you can probably already tell it's Christmas right now, so I'm about to go eat. I was hoping for some doggy love, but the dog that lived here passed away after I finished flooring a month ago. This neighborhood brings back so many terrible memories. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and walk back home, Abby. Nice. Alright, we're back. They're gonna be making some barbecue later. I don't know if we're gonna be walking back out for that, but what I do know is that I'm gonna have some snacks, and I'm also gonna be testing out my VCR player. Before I do any of what I just said, I'm going to do some kippa training because I'm working to get them every time. I can land them most of the time, but I do always miss the first try, so we'll see if we can get this first try. Alright, I'm going to do two angles on this one just so you can see what the kip up looks like. So, I'm going to start off like this, and then I'm going to do a kip up this way. Alright, so, definitely going to mess up on the first attempt. I always do, except for when I first learned it somehow. I got it. <laughs> All right, next attempt then. Two times in a row. <laughs> wow, that was great. Don't mind my ugly face, but here's when I first dedicated myself to learning kip-ups. 
I did try back when I lived at the farm, but gave up after 30 minutes because it seemed impossible. I can do it with hands if you remember our previous episodes, but I personally think it's easier without hands. The VCR is working perfectly fine. I'm currently running Goosebumps Haunted Mask. I recently just bought this, and uh, I'm going to try some of these other ones later. All right, we're back for some barbecue. I was already full from the Boombog Way. All right, one final kip up. This is gonna be putting it to the test. I'm gonna be doing it on slippery wooden floor. I've done it on wooden floor earlier at Kasukiya's old house, but the wooden ones, it's slippery. But this one's slippery, so that's gonna be the ultimate test here. I found my dad's Bruce Lee VHS collection. A lot of them are missing, but out of all of them that are missing, we still have the big boss here. All right, at my sister's house, about to eat some spring rolls. I think this is my ninth one, judging by how full I'm getting. Hey babe, dip my weenie. <laughs> yep, movie time. Come in the car before someone hits you. Getting some popcorn popping right now. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was going to be like powdered butter seasoning, but it's actually butter inside of this. <laughs> That's going to do it for Food Cat Diets. If you have not become a channel member, then good luck with the rest of life. But if you have become a channel member, then I'll see you all in episode 50. It's an hour long special and it's going to mean a lot to me because I'm going to put all my heart into it. By the way, welcome to this neighborhood. This is the exact spot where I did that. Oh, I love myself. And here's that one spot that I skated. Oh, come on, man. I just want to go home. All right, we out for real now. Peace, homies. Nee.